This video will show you how to get started with RabbitMQ, Cloud AMQP, and using Ruby and the Bunny library. We'll start by creating our RabbitMQ instance. Go to cloudamqp.com and click on this button. From the plans page, we can select the different plans. We'll start with the free plan, Little Lemur. When we do that, we'll need to sign in. Um, if you don't have an account, you can sign up with your email here, but I have an account, so I'll just type that in and log in. We're now presented with a page where we can select what to call our instance. I'll call it Ruby Test, and where to place it. We can select different data centers around the world, and all the data centers that has an asterisk close to them are data centers that have shared plans. I'll click create and we'll now see that an instance has been created for me. If I click on details, I'll see the details for uh, my plan. The server is Hyena and this is my username and also virtual host that we'll use. Password and the connection URL that we'll use to connect. So I'll copy this so that I have it available in my clipboard. This is a free plan and it allows for up to 20 connections and we can use up to 1 million messages per month. Let's start developing. Here I have a terminal window. The first thing we'll do is to set the environmental variable cloud AMQP URL. And we'll set that to be the thing we just copied from the console window. Before we go into Ruby, we can make sure that we have the Bunny library installed. And you can do that with gem install Bunny. We can now start the interactive Ruby session IRB and require our Bunny library. We'll now create a bunny object with bunny new and we'll use the connection URL that we just created a couple of lines above here, cloud MQP URL. And we'll start the session with start virtual host and the hyena server just as we saw in the con console. We can now create the channel. Let's call it ch, and we do that by using the create channel method. We can also declare a queue on this channel, and that is done with the queue command. We'll call it test1. We can see that this is now a uh, default queue here. Next up, we'll declare a standard direct exchange with the exchange command. You can see here that it's of the type direct. So to publish a message to this queue, we can use the publish message to the exchange. This message will then be routed to the queue. So we can publish hello viewers and we'll specify the key here to be the test one that we just declared. Now we can go to the RabbitMQ interface from our console and see what this looks like in the interface there. So uh, we have a message queued. You can see that we published one message here. And now we can get ready to consume it. So back in the interactive Ruby session, we can select to save delivery headers and message. And in them, we can take that message from, from the queue. So for instance, 
if we look at the headers, we'll see them there. Um, and we can also look at the message in uh, that we saved into to the variable message. Now when we go back to the Rabbit MQ management interface, we can see that the message has been consumed. That was what happened here, the blue line. And we are now back to zero messages. You can also see that there's one queue defined. If we click on queues, uh, that queue, test one. Uh, we can also see that we have a connection, a channel, and we're only using the standard uh, exchanges, so we haven't defined a new exchange. Back in our uh, application, we can now stop. So we see that that's, that's been closed there. And if we go back to the management interface, we can see that we don't have a connection anymore.